Some lockdown stories have happy beginnings and difficult endings. On March 1st, I had come to this small village called Kharoi in Kutch, Gujarat for a 3-week nature cure treatment at Anandham. When the lockdown news filtered to us, the owner suggested I stay back. But I decided to run an opinion poll with all my friends and family back home. It was 100%. Don't come to Delhi. So it was good I cancelled my train on 23rd because the train never really arrived from Delhi. There was no corona for miles around. Living in the green zone is like normal life. April and May went blissfully by, but the trains were not showing any signs of starting. So I booked a flight from Ahmedabad to Delhi that's June 10th. That was the beginning of the downward slope. The long 5-hour taxi drive was full of stories of what the driver saw in Ahmedabad, the sick and dying having nowhere to go. At the airport, they sprayed a disinfectant all over my bags and a little bit on me. Checked my other gear Setu app from behind glass cover. The body temperature machine was run and even after this, the staff were showing us to stay far and away from them till I realized there was a camera that could read the documents. The airport looked empty. We were like 10 people in a huge hall. Check-in was smooth. In fact, the security check was downright funny. The body check lady had this funny white headgear that kept slipping off and so did my mask. And we had someone really wrapping us for not being diligent. It's when I reached the boarding gate that the dystopia set in. A Japanese team was in full white protective gear. Alternate seats were marked with X and everybody was silent. I wondered, is it safe to use the toilet? Did I touch my face or mouth before washing my hands? Give me back my crowded airports with all the madness. This was eerie. A hundred white mask gloved lot wrapped in shopping bag plastic. Even the air hostesses wore the white wrap. It was most silent, static flight. No one moved, no one coughed or sneezed. Even the baby on board seemed to be sedated. No one went to the toilet. Only when we landed, the freeze game lifted and suddenly there was a mass unclicking of safety belts and the old habits don't die. So a lot of people stood up and had to be reminded of social distancing. In Delhi, the whole process was reverse repeated. A rogia check, body temperature check and the baggage disinfectant before getting in the cab. The driver here was sealed in a plastic bubble and complained of getting just one client a day, but at least that fed his family. 24 hours later, Arogya Setu has declared me safe. But somehow the fear of this tiny unknown factor, even in self-isolation, has not gone. Will air travel ever be something to look forward to? For me personally, I think not.